Hello and welcome to Tennis Works TV on Monday the 1st of August 2011. With myself, John Cavill, the Director of Tennis, Tennis Works. Here's a brief roundup of the latest news in the world of tennis. Eighth seed Marcel Granolas defeated fourth seed Fernando Vadasco, 6-4, 3-6, 6-3, in an all-Spanish final on Sunday at the Credit Agricole Swiss Open in Gustard to win his second ATP World Tour title. In the doubles, top seeds Franciszek Cermak and Filip Polasek won their second ATP World Tour team title on Sunday in Gestad as they defeated second seeds Christopher Kast and Alexander Payer 6-3, 7-6 in the final. Second seed Alexandra Dolgopolov became the seventh first time winner of the ATP World Tour title this season when he defeated home favourite and fourth seed Marin Silic 6-4, 3-6, 6-3 in Sunday's final at the ATP Studena Croatia Open in Umag. Latvian Ernest Gulbis defeated top seed Mardi Fish 5-7, 6-4, 6-4 in the final of the Farmers Classic on Sunday in Los Angeles to claim his second ATP World Tour title. Mark Knowles and Xavier Melise paired up for the first time and they claimed the doubles title on Sunday at the Farmers Classic prevailing against Somdev Dervman and Pret Hui. 7-6, 7-6 in 1 hour and 56 minutes. At the City Open in Maryland, USA, the top two seeds were in the final. Nadia Petrova defeated Shahar Peer 7-5, 6-2 to win her first title in almost three years. In Stanford, California, Serena Williams was crowned a champion again in just her third tournament back from a year-long absence from the game. The American won her 38th WTA title in the Bank of the West Classic, defeating Marion Bartoli 7-5, 6-1. Looking ahead to this week. This week, ATP are in Washington with Gail Monfils as the number one seed. And in Kitzbühel, Juan Iglesias Cella leads the lineup. The WTA are at the Mercury Insurance Open, which is the second of the women's stop of the US Open series. This event is held in Carlsbad, California, at the La Costa Resort and Spa. Last year's winner was two-time Grand Slam champion Svetlana Kuznetsova, and this year Vera Zvonareva is the number one seed. On Monday the 12th of September, I will be presenting a webinar on creating a school outreach program. I would like to invite you to join me as I share with you my thoughts, observations and understanding that has been gathered from the past 17 years of my coaching. I will be imparting with you the requirements to develop a successful schools link and the benefits of doing so. Over the past 11 years, Tennis Works has developed a huge schools program with up to 23 schools involved, ranging from private schools to those in areas of deprivation. My extensive experience in this field has taught me many ways to adapt the program, depending on the school and situation. So I'll explain the pitfalls and top tips to making a schools outreach program a huge success. You can register your place on this webinar now by visiting www.tennisworks.net Please go to tennisworks.net today where you can register for your free membership for one month. Whether you're a coach, player, parent, enthusiast, assistant or involved in tennis in any way, tennisworks.net is a one-stop shop for all your tennis development and educational needs. On the website you can also sign up to our free newsletter 
bursting with quality information and articles from our contributors around the world. And you can also join our YouTube channel with regular updates on the world of tennis. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and please go and visit tennisworks.net now. Take care and see you all again soon.